I ain't joking, do it sound like a kin. I just made two in a thou in a minute. Fuck Jack Doherty, I only care about the money. And that's that broccoli hair motherfucker cause he a sucker. Okay, that's long enough. That's about a, about how much time uh, Polo G was at Jack's party, so that's good enough. Yo, you want the mic? You want it? Okay, before I continue on, let's just be honest about something, okay? Rappers are becoming a little bit more shittier and shittier by the day, but at the same time, streamers are becoming dumber and dumber by the day as well, okay? Now, the reason I say that is because Jack isn't the first one to uh, fall victim to some shit like that, okay? Now, in my opinion, though, Jack kind of deserves it after all he's been doing and all that shit. Like, he's been just doing some really gnarly ass, stupid ass shit on the internet. It's not even funny. And even Polo G probably recognized it, and he was like, man, fuck this little jit, bro. I'm going to just steal this 200k off this little motherfucker. But I will say this, 21 Savage and Polo G... Polo G not so much because I really do not like Jack Doherty, but it's 21 Savage. I never liked 21 Savage in the first place, so I really do not care about that dude very much. But for me, for me though, whenever 21 finessed Aiden Ross, and again, I'm not a big fan of Aiden Ross to begin with either. Really, 21 Savage really kind of like pissed me off with that one a little bit, but not, not a lot because I, again, I don't really like Aiden Ross too much. He's also not that great of a person. <laughs> Fuck! What you had? A scrap. But this one doesn't have a scrap, so it's clean. I don't think you'll do that, bro. Nah, they're scrapped, bro. For real? Yeah. These these cards are both scrapped. Now, before anybody says, oh, that's gonna affect your kick deal if you ever want to stream on there, bitch, I'm not streaming on kick. I might one day, but I'm gonna I'm stick to the OG Twitch. See, on Twitch, it's a little bit easier because you could just go ahead and flash some cleavage, you know what I'm saying? You could flash some titties. I'm gonna flash my balls on fucking Twitch, and then we'll go from there. But with dudes like Jack, you know, and Aiden Ross, people that are not, you know, super nice or at least do some like really fucked up shit to some people every once in a while they honestly deserve it honestly they honestly do deserve it i remember what was it even like playboy cardi showed up for like like five minutes to like aiden ross's stream or some shit like that and i mean it was <laughs> it was fucking funny and hilarious oh shit that was a big mistake but see for me jack he 100 deserved it right he 100 deserved you know, getting finessed by um, Polo G. Polo G didn't even look like he wanted to be there. Oh my god, this motherfucker. You can just tell from the jump, Polo G did not want to be there. Polo G looked like he just did not give a fuck about being at that dude's party whatsoever. And honestly, it's understandable. Jack fucking sucks. He said like 15 fucking words on top of that balcony. He just dipped, dude. Like nobody... That dude did not give a fuck about Jack. And you can also slowly see how Jack just slowly starts like losing all hope that Polo G is going to continue fucking even like... Uh, performing because he tries to give him the mic he's like yo polo you want the mic and polo's like no nah, don't even don't even speak to me he, he didn't even do anything he just like moves away from him that's all he does i mean that right there was one hell of a performance right there him just moving innocently away from uh you know jack doherty just absolutely finessing this kid but watching jack and his downfall a little bit with him crashing that fucking mclaren to him then getting finessed by you know polo g um and just overall just seeming like a piece of shit that he really is i mean this dude i i understand now how he got famous okay if i looked looked into a little bit as to how he got famous because he was like pissing people off you know trying to get their attention by pissing them off and this and that and now it all makes sense like i mean this kid deserves to get slapped anytime anybody gets the chance because i've seen a whole compilation of him getting the absolute fucking little bitch smacked out of him and shit 
And honestly, it's kind of hilarious. Jock be like talking and talking and talking. And next thing you know, shut your little ass up, little boy. You broccoli hair haircut looking son of a bitch. And uh, that's nice. Oh. Yeah. What? 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 Hey, now we can't bust. There's a whole. Oh, oh. Gotta fucking help my team out, bro, because I'm the only fucking AI in here that's fucking smart, bro. Oh, wow, bro. Dude, I just, the one thing I, I really get bothered by, especially with someone like Jack, is how does someone like him, who's so famous, and just like, I, I mean... What I'm doing right now is dumb now, but that's the whole point of this whole thing. Like, and this is how you finesse the game, you know? You just gotta act all sorts of retarded before you get up to the fucking top of the food chain, you know what I mean? Before you get to the elites, you know what I mean? I mean, here's the thing, though. Jack didn't evolve. He's still the same piece of shit he was a few years back, you know? He's still the same, you know, little shit that he was, you know, a few years back, but... He's getting now fucking finesse. Like, and this kid, this kid knows some shit. He's intelligent. He's not stupid. He knows. And yet he still, you know, does some dumb ass shit, you know, um, you know, behind the camera that, or in front of the camera, I mean, in this case, and he just, just doesn't fucking get it, bro. Like he just crashing McLaren's out here getting finessed by Polo G, you know, I guess also I saw something not too long ago that he signed some sort of paper. Somebody, you know, trying to make him sign a paper and this and that. And I'm like, bro, I just know you're not that fucking retarded, bro. I know you're not that autistic, bro. I'm autistic. I'm retarded, dude. Leave this shit to me, dog. You know, anytime I see a contract, I'm like Rigby over here like, oh, cool, a contract, let's sign it. See, if Diddy comes up to me with a contract and shit, well, guess what, guys? Ain't no party like a Diddy party, guys. Fuck all the noise. I know, I know a lot of the times, like, I sound like I'm a generational hater, and I am, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, look, I'm not necessarily a generational hater, okay, even though I just said I am. Here's the thing, again, KSI's song is not that bad. Again, I think he, that song, Think of It, is a little bit better than anything Drake has dropped. As a matter of fact, you know what, fuck it, let's just go out and say it. I think uh, KSI should have fucking uh, got a Grammy nomination, uh, you know, for Think of It. I, I don't know why he didn't get one. It's fucking crazy. I mean, it's 99% better than anything that Jack Doherty fucking puts out. I mean, all I'm doing is watching this fucking kid just absolutely be just an asswipe to people, bro. He's just being absolute asswipe. And then when I, every chance I see him get fucking, you know, finessed, I'm just start doing my fucking evil little Knievel or fucking evil little laugh at this motherfucker. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> look, the universe is recognizing all the evils right now. The universe is recognizing that this kid and, you know what I'm saying? Like people like, you know, talk to, a, you know, are full of shit, bro. They're recognizing it. It's the downfall. Again, I told y'all in the fucking uh, Jackass 2 -a video, you know what I'm saying? That at the same time. We need to be grateful for people like Jack and Mrs. Talk Tua. And fuck it, even KSI in his, in his bullshit ass song, think of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, Jack, you know, KSI is not that bad, but his song recently, again, not that great, but not that good. But when we got people like that in the limelight, bro, it's, it's, it's a perfect opportunity. It's a perfect thing telling you, you can get famous by doing anything dumb as shit on the fucking internet and you'll instantly get clout. But back to Jack getting finessed. I mean, at the same time, it's inevitable. This dude just, he keeps fucking doing some really, you know, stupid ass crap to people and stuff like that. People that don't even deserve it. You know, karma is a real and a beautiful thing. I mean, look at this video game right now that we're talking about. Okay, oh, that we're playing right now. Left 4 Dead 2. Now, if you don't know, then you don't know. But if you know, you know. But back then, on this game, there's a zombie, there's a fucking special infected that we like to call the Charger. But in just, it's not just simply, we don't call him just simply the Charger, we call him Karma fucking Charger, okay? Karma Charger, that bitch is always watching us. That motherfucker is always watching you. He's always watching you sleep, he's always watching you, you know, you know, cooking them fucking burgers at McCrusty Crab, bro. I almost said McDonald's, but it's the same shit. But yes, Karma Charger, she's always, or he's always watching you. You know why he's got that big ass arm? Because he was stroking the shaft before he fucking became special infected. He's a hillbilly motherfucker. He was probably touching up on his sister, man. He was probably touching on his sister. 
okay? That motherfucker's got a big ass arm, and the reason why he's always watching you, because he's always watching, waiting to beat the bricks off of you. Karma Charger is just waiting to eat your ass out, brother. And that's what's happening to Jack Doherty and his Nemo ass fucking haircut, or fucking broccoli haircut, whatever the fuck, I lost track of fucking what I was thinking. This young man, he knows better, but yet he's not doing better, you know what I mean? He might be doing better than me financially. He might not be working at McDonald's, which by the way, I went back to the Golden Arcs, baby. I don't mind it. You know why? Because nobody wanted to hire a bilingual, a bilingual, okay? Now, I bisexual, I bilingual, okay? I speak two languages, motherfucker. I speak dos idiomas, puto. And yet, I wasn't qualified? Like, what the fuck? I might have brown skin, motherfucker, but I'm gonna make sure you have... You never have a fucking frown, bro. Like, what the fuck? Watch Jack go see this fucking video and he's be like, Do you want employment? I'm gonna be like, Yeah, sure, I want employment. Just give me 200k to perform at your shit. And I'll, like, leave after, like, a minute or so. I got you, bro. I'll be there. I'll do the work. But for, like, a minute, I'm bouncing, bitch. Karma's very real, ladies and gentlemen. Just watch out for what you do. Shit, I even gotta watch myself. Because at the same time, this content... I know this shit could probably get me fucking fried, bro. We're talking about karma right now. But here's the thing, though. You will never see me do stupidly bad shit to anybody now as an actual prank an innocent prank i'm gonna try to do but am i ever gonna do something super hardcore like what jack doherty does by like literally fucking almost killing his cameraman no am i gonna be you know, like you know pressing people in public and thinking like my security is gonna protect me no i'm gonna go in and sick fucking karma charger on their asses Instead, motherfucker, with a one arm, motherfucker, bro. He's gonna be stroking your shit hardcore at night to the point where you ain't got no skin on that motherfucker. Look, Jack, he's rich and famous, so I ain't really worried about his money, okay? What I'm worried about is my money, okay? And making it on this beautiful YouTube platform. Because at the same time, the Golden Arcs, the Golden Arcs is doing it for me. But at the same time, I want to be fucking wild. Because the next video we're about to do, oh my god, it's gonna be a fucking crazy one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, uh, you guys get a nice little kick out of it. And Jack, if you ever watch this video, brother, well, if you want me to perform at your show, just give me like 200K and I'll be out of your hair in like three minutes, okay? So I got you, bro. I got you. I'll, I, I'll, I'll be there for a little bit longer. I'll be there for like 21 minutes to perform, okay? I got you, bro. I got you, all right? I'll, I'll be there to take care of your broccoli hair ass fucking party and shit like that, all right? Anyways, y'all take care. Be safe out there and uh, don't let the bed bugs bite, all right, sweetie? Have a good one.